We're the largest converter of carbon fiber into automotive components, uh, tier one in the world. So we supply direct to the auto industry, to the, tier, to, the, um, to the OEMs, to the assembly plants. Our largest applications are on the Corvette, the new Corvette Stingray. Uh, we have all of the hoods, so we ship 180 hoods a day, which is um, a magnitude greater than has been done historically in, in carbon fiber. On the Viper, we have the hood fender, the roof structure, the lift gate, the splitter, the dive planes, and some other trim, trim components. Well, for a, a, a strength to weight uh, ratio, carbon fiber gives the greatest value. It is the, um, the material that offers the greatest weight savings opportunity. And with CAFE standards going to 54.5 miles per gallon by 2025, the car companies realize they can't do it all alone with um, whether it's electric, um, fuel cell, uh, hybrid, whatever. All of those technologies require light weighting of the vehicles. Historically, carbon fiber has been converted in an autoclave, which is a big pressure vessel. It looks like a, um, uh, a submarine. It's, um, it, it, it heats the, the material and allows it to cure. But it is like a convection oven, an inefficient way to heat the material. So the cycle times historically have been one and a half, two hours. For large volume programs where the tooling becomes very expensive, uh, we use what we call our pressure press technology, which allows us to convert the parts in under 20 minutes. And from a Class A standpoint, that is how we are, um, that's how we're making parts faster than anyone in the world. Our cycle time right now is just under 20, but our next generation of uh, pressure press technology will be closer to 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, we are, we are able to convert faster for the Class A uh, than anyone in the world. So every program we get starts in, in R&D and product development and then um, we prototype here in Wixom. Uh, we have a small pressure press here, we also have an autoclave here. We build the prototypes here. Once they've been tested by the customer and accepted, then we scale up to uh, production tooling, which then takes place out in our Grand Rapids, our Walker facility in Grand Rapids. We took the technology from a concept to production in three years which was a huge undertaking, a huge challenge, and was extremely difficult. We have been really challenged the last couple of years. Uh, the, the incredible success of the Corvette has them running at volumes well in excess of anything we forecasted at the beginning of the program. So for the last two years, we've really been focused on meeting demand, not shutting the customer down, and um, building our capabilities while we look to the future and develop our next generation of technology. It's uh, faster, more robust, more cost effective, and we're really excited about that. So what are we proud of? We're proud of the fact that we translated technology quickly. Uh, into production, uh, we had the, the staying power to, to make it a reality through all the challenges of launch and ramp, at the same time as advancing the technology for the next generation. So we're very excited and very proud of what we've done and the opportunity that's ahead of us. Our goal is to be at the forefront of the technology, pushing the envelope um, and growing this industry. You know, from a North American standpoint, we've built the industry. Now we want to grow it and lead it going forward.